why do I have to cover? It's not a choice, so you don't have a choice, you have to cover. But if you don't cover and you are practicing good Muslim, that does not mean you'll go to hell. But you have to cover. Why? Okay, good question. Have you read a book called Beauty Sick? This book is very interesting because we have this false notion yeah. that when a woman takes the, her hijab off, she chose to take it off. I believe this is the biggest false fallacy ever. Are you telling me that as a woman, you choose not to wear the hijab? Yes. I, I say no. And, and I'll prove you. Let me tell you how. Are you telling me that the beauty industry, the females around you, the society that you live in have no effect on you and the way you are perceived? And that has no element on you that you may feel because the book that I refer to called Beauty Sick tells you about women who are beauty sick. Their sickness is beauty, okay. which is what? When someone comes to me and says, I choose to wear the hijab, I'm like, please don't lie. You wear the hijab because Allah told you to. And now somebody comes and says, well, that's Islam is oppressive. And I say, well, no, hold on a second. Because the very woman who wear mini skirts, who go get their, excuse me, their breasts done, yeah. their backside done, their hips done, their nose done. Can you imagine? They smash their nose. They, are you telling me these people go and say, I choose to? No, you don't choose to. You do it because the beauty industry, the standards that the, uh, the society have put a bar on, you are trying to reach those at the cost that you can even lose your life. Then your argument is actually null and void because the same way that a woman will choose or has no choice to wear hijab, mm. Uh, but also does this these things yes. to herself and it's like oh that's not her choice yes then where where do you meet in the middle and ha and where is the choice this is where you meet in the middle the point is this nobody has a choice listen carefully you have free will you have a choice in what sense which one to follow both of them don't have no choice the one who goes and gets a nose done and has makeup and can't leave the house without makeup being in front of the window for two hours etc Okay, and the woman who wears the hijab, yeah. they are both told to do so. One is told to do so by, by the God, one who created her. Thank you. Now, now, one second. This is where it's crucial. Okay. Which one is deserving of being listened to? The one who created you or society? If that is your argument, then yeah. of course it's your creator that okay, has good. obedience okay, over good. society. So what have we learned here, sister, today? Both individuals have no choice. They are both told to do something. Okay. One is from the creator, yeah. one, one is from the creation. This is where I accepted Islam because I said, hold on a second. Uh, okay. And I'll give you this personal story. I used to have a jumper like this. It was a black one. Okay. I thought I looked really handsome.